In the ever-changing world of new media and emerging technology, the latest question of the day is, what are you doing? If you really want to ask the question online, and if you're looking for a quick answer, you're probably using Twitter. It's the name given to the latest thing in social networking. Petty Officer Andrew Holloway takes a closer look at Twitter. There was a time when the online phrase of the day sounded something like this. You've got mail. But for a growing audience living in the age of on-demand digital media and mobile text messaging, that just won't do. What you need, they say, if you need to know now, is Twitter. Twitter, with its short microblog capability, has become an increasingly popular social media application. Its immediate and incremental pace means that followers can track multiple feeds all day. Because of Through the Twitter social networking service, accessed on the web via the Twitter site, users can send and read each other's text-based messages, known as tweets. A tweet can be up to 140 characters of text. Updated tweets are displayed on the user's Twitter profile page and sent to other users signed up to receive them. Twitter accounts are accessed from web-based desktop connections and via mobile device text messaging. So there's some pretty cool links in here you may want to check out. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Cool. Defense media officials see Twitter as a way to help the user, whether an agency or a service member, to maintain their role in the flow of information. You know, the messages are, are there, there are themes out there, things we want to talk about, but we use Twitter to, to carry on a conversation. So we get feedback, and it's usually pretty immediate feedback. Through Twitter and that immediate response, it's an easier way to control the effect so that people come back with a better understanding and more context because everybody's going to hear a message at a different level. Why is it important for the Department of Defense to understand these social technologies and to be able to harness them? Twitter already has the eyes and ears of new media users across the government, listening in to the weekly DOD webcast armed with science. And DOD the new media experts now see Twitter concern. as a part of a larger world of web-based social tools. Social tools, because at their essence are about connecting people and information, um, can, in principle, be very, very helpful for giving people platforms to share information with each other in ways that, that you really can't do with, um, with email or some more traditional forms of communication. The list of those who tweet in the growing Twitter universe includes some very familiar names and faces. That list now includes the Pentagon Channel, so tell us what you think about this story. You can tweet us at twitter.com slash Pentagon Channel. I'm Petty Officer Andrew Holloway, Pentagon Channel News.